The concert business is setting up for a dramatic technology driven change. These days, the best show often means the best stage. It's an arms race, and the leading arms dealer is a privately held company called Tate Towers, based in the heart of Amish country in rural Pennsylvania. These days, you build your relationship with your customers in the live experience. Michael Buble, Elton John, Justin Timberlake, Madonna, Metallica, U2, all have turned to Tate to construct mind-boggling, functional, geeked-out, high-tech sets. We've got architects, mechanical engineers, people that went to trade school for cabinetry design. But before a single board is cut, the process starts with 3D modeling on software by Autodesk. These sets are shipped from all over the world, slapped together to stand for a day, then disassembled just as quickly and off to the next gig. The man behind it all is James Winky Faroff. He started at Tate in 1984 when he was in college. Tate now dominates the concert industry. We have to do it financially responsibly, which is usually the most difficult thing because everybody has champagne wishes and caviar dreams, but they don't have those budgets. Here we go. Putting on a big show is necessary where lots more money is being made at live shows than in recorded music. It's so nice to be here. You won't regret it. Michael Bublé turned to Tate Towers for his 40 city 12 week to be loved tour, his biggest yet. If you're going to ask people to spend a hundred bucks on a ticket, to come and see you in a 16,000 seat arena and sometimes sit, you know, a football field away from you, that, that this is something that's necessary. Performance magic is a modern necessity in a changing music industry. I 